Yo, what is up guys, this is Pedro here, so right after the game, Ron Rivera in his press conference, he said that Alex Smith will start next week for Washington versus Detroit, Dwayne Haskins will be the backup, so we're going to talk about that and debate who should be the starter moving forward, if you guys are new, subscribe for Washington and NFL content, so let's get right into the video, and remember, check out House of Hoodies, use code Pedro for 15% off, they got some insane jersey hoodies, including a Sean Taylor one. So let's get into it. So like I said, Ron Rivera after the game said Alex Smith will start next week despite Alex Smith throwing three interceptions. He did however go 24 for 32 with 325 yards. So it was a very very up and down game by Alex Smith, you know, he was doing, I mean, the first interception really wasn't his fault against, uh, or with Jaden McKissick, but the, then the other two just cost us the game at the end of the day. So the question is, should Alex me the, uh, should Alex Smith be the starter? And here's how I'll say it. You know, personally, I would like to see Dwayne, you know, maybe he's P Probably not the future. He's definitely not the future, but maybe you can get his, you know, trade value you up. So what I would say is sure, go ahead and start Alex Smith next week. And if he plays solid and we win that game, then continue to start him until he shows you that he shouldn't be the starting quarterback. Because as, as sad as it is, if we win next week, guys, and let's say the Giants beat the Eagles, we're all, we're, we would be first place in the division or we would be tied with the Eagles. So that is pretty crazy. So that's why Ron still wants to start Alex Smith. But if we get blown out by Detroit or if we lose by 10 or something, or even if we barely lose and Alex Smith is a big reason why we lose that game against Detroit, then that puts you at two and seven and really gives you no realistic shot of making the playoffs, even though you're in the terrible NFC East, then I would personally put in Dwayne Haskins um, just because, you know, there's a Alex Smith, guys, there's no chance he is the future in Washington. Um, he has a huge cap. He, he's like $25 million next year. So if we cut him, we save a bunch of money. And Dwayne Haskins, you know, He's not going to be the future, but there's a small, very small chance he could be. So that's why you play him. See what he is. At the very worst, you know, he gets you in a better draft position. And maybe he plays okay and you can get a third or fourth or fifth round pick. Whatever you can get out of him. Maybe that's what happens. He's going to be the backup. So if Alex Smith somehow gets injured, gets a broken arm or whatever. just uh, I'm obviously not hoping that on anything. But if anything happens to Alex Smith then Dwayne Haskins will be in. So, you know, either way, I mean, Alex Smith has been the backup this year um, ever since week four and he, or after week four, and he's played in two games. So um, it could easily happen. Dwayne Haskins could go in for a few plays if Alex Smith gets banged up. And we're going to see, this is going to be very interesting to see what happens. Also, I'm, I'm going to be interested to see what the deal is with Kyle Allen, because obviously I'm not a doctor, and you know I I heard that he did dislocate his ankle and have had a small fracture, so I think that's he's out for the year, but I'm not completely sure on that one right there. So let me, if you guys know, let me know in the comments how long he is out for. We'll probably get a better sense of that tomorrow um, once Ron Rivera gives us an update. We'll see what happens there, but yeah, I'll give Alex uh, next week, see how he does. You know, like I said, if he lights it up and eliminates the turnovers, then sure, have him be the starter until he proves that he shouldn't be the starter because this is the only thing that leaves me a little bit hopeful with Alex Smith is that he had over 320 yards and he had three picks. Let's say two of them were 100% his fault. The two picks he had were such fluke picks. It wasn't because of him coming back from his injury. Those two picks were 100% mental errors. Those were mental mistakes. Those were mental mistakes by Alex that he usually does not make. So that's why I'm somewhat hopeful that he can play better than he did this week against the Giants. But if he can't, then I would go ahead and play Dwayne for the rest of the season and see if if he can, uh, you know, play a lot better than he did early on, and maybe he's developing a little bit. And if not, uh, if he plays terrible, then okay, you you can release him after the season and move on. But if he shows you either 
glimpse of hope or if he plays okay and, you know, his trade value goes up a little bit. It's a win-win situation, in my opinion. We'll see, though. You know, Alex Smith, those interceptions, no doubt, were pretty much the reasons we lost this game. Aside from, obviously, the fumble on the punt return and uh, Gibson's fumble, those were huge reasons why we lost, but those were such little mental errors that I think, you know, that is such, like, unlike Alex Smith, um, usually he, you know, goes for, throws 180 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions, and that's his game. Today was almost the opposite. 300 over 300 yards, one touchdown, and three interceptions. So if he can, uh, fix that, then we'll see what happens. We'll seriously see what happens, but, uh, give him a, a week or more, and, you know, if he can't, uh, play better, and if he can't fix those errors, then I would consider playing Dwayne Haskins. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I know this is a very controversial topic because either you're pro Dwayne Haskins and you want him to play or you want Alex Smith to play. I'm somewhat in the middle though. So again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed the video. And I know this loss is stuck, uh, sucks, but you know, stick with the team. Uh, we'll see what happens this year. You know, this game was close. We fought back, which is good. But at the end of the day, we should have won that game. Our defense stuck in there, and we had two chances to win at the end of the game. Thanks for watching. Peace.